Alright, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new episode of Mashup Monday. Here on Firebox Breaks, well, we usually pull the fire, but last week was sort of tame in my books. We did keep the Young Gun streak alive, of course, which is a win, but we're on the chase for some very big rookie cards in this assortment of six packs and maybe something else. So without further delay, let's showcase what we're going to open up here. We do have a few more of these pristine 12 card hockey packs from Dollarama. We will start off with that. We'll also continue the chase for Taylor Hall's rookie card here in the Opeachy variety, the 2010-2011 pack. Also the 2019-20 Upper Deck Series 1. Perhaps we can add more hues to the mix. And we're going to throw this one here, this one into the mix, of course. That is the Lafreniere year, but we're not chasing Lafreniere. We're looking for Jason Robertson and, of course, Jake Ottinger. And we're going to throw in this extended series from 2021 for good measure. And we're going to end off on the 22-23 OPG hockey right there. So perhaps we could find some fire. Pull the fire, who knows? But we're gonna go in this particular order right there and see if we can add some of those chase cards to the mix. So here we are. Gonna open up this one right there, the Dollarama as mentioned. Now there are some pretty cool cards in this particular package. This one being the insert card, of course, so that's why I picked up that one. The left wingers, Jaden Schwartz, and that would be one of the insert cards. So there we are. Now that usually is a hit when it comes to a regular pack. It's not a base pack, but that one already is a win. So that will be put down for the recap. Now these cards are all over the place, so we'll go like this. Ron Hextall, pretty cool. That would be the American version, purple border, 91. We've got John Cordick there, Leafs, one of the tough guys back in the day. And that's how it looks right there. So, all right, you could see the penalties in minutes there. So quite high. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, Glenn Hanlon right there, the Red Wings. And that one is chock full of stats right there. Pretty cool card nonetheless. And we've got, this one is Collector's Choice, Eric Lindros. So not too bad. Hardware Heroes. Why don't we put that into the mix there. The Big E. And we, we will continue on Pavel Adatsuk Stadium Club right there. Interesting card. Flip that one around. We've got Pat Murray, early upper deck, as well as John Van Beesbrook right there, the Beezer. Shout out Freedom Sufferer cards. Michael Picard, top prospect there. Walt Podubsky, Podubny. And we've got Bobby Holik right there in the score 92 variety. Not the rookie card, I don't think. Perhaps. No, I think that was just a second year card for him. And we end off with a we end off with a Duncan Keith. Alright, so there we are. I think that sort of put me to sleep. The voice kind of took a little hit there. But nonetheless, let's carry on and bring forward some excitement here. Perhaps. And that will wake up the viewing audience as well. If not, maybe it's the high coming down from all those big pulls as of late. Chris Kunitz right there. The Penguins. Johan Hedberg from the Thrashers, but now with the New Jersey Devils. Justin Falk. Marquee rookie. That's a pretty solid hit there. We have Jamie Key, Andy Green, and we've got Kevin Bieksa now a sportscaster with Sportsnet and we will leave it there all right or not Kevin Bieksa I think it is yeah just um, had to double check there is it let me just double check really quickly unless I'm mixing up the yeah it is Kevin Bieksa all right all right so here we are we are going to continue on with this OPG variety Jacob Truba, Eunice Donskoy, the Seattle Kraken, Robin Salo, or Salo, Alexander Carrier there, Marky Rookies, Rookie Phenomenon, or Phenom, 
Philippe Roos. Put that in there for a recap card. Pius Suter, Braden Point, and Patrice Bergeron right there. So nothing too exciting out of those, of course. Those are lower caliber packs. But let's see what we have in store here. The extended series. Of course, there are some big rookies and some awesome insert cards. Can we pull one of those here? We start off with a Tyler Sagan, would be the all-star there. And we've got a little bit of stickage already. We have a Jay Beagle. We have a Paquette. We have a Cody Eakin there. Belchenyuk with the Leafs. We have a Lucas Walmark. Zach Whitecloud. And we've got the rookie class of Gabe Velarde. Not too bad. I was not a big fan of these cards because that backsplash is like they're in a locker room bathroom and that is not appealing whatsoever, but that's my point of view for that one. Can we get an, an Alexi Lafreniere? I might add, this was picked up from Shoppers Drug Mart in one of those gravity feed boxes and it was the lone pack there. So I don't know if we've got a pack, maybe it's just a regular base or maybe we've got one of those... Oh, peachy inserts. All right, so we've got Radulov there, Blake Lazat, Anders Lee. We have Bobby Ryan, Nathan McKinnon, Velocic Pickles, Bergeron, and Zabinajet. So it wasn't all base, so I should have left that there. I would have saved myself $4. But here we are, 2019-20 Upper Deck Series 1. We could definitely carry on with the Young Guns, or we might just happen to end that streak and we'll have to start anew. Can we get a young gun here? Perhaps it's a canvas. All right, here we are. We have a Dervinen, DeBrusque, Shea Theodore. We have a Bobby Ryan there, Drew Doughty, Fisher, Oscar Clefbaum. And we've got another dud pack, Kuznevsov. Wow, so this was not a very exciting episode whatsoever we have a very modest recap here we have a rookie class Gabe Velarde Philip Ruse Justin Falk probably the best hit there Marky rookie Eric Lindros and a shooting stars Jaden Schwartz so that's all we're gonna have for this one here no chase rookie obtained whatsoever but we will leave it there and I'll definitely mix up some of these Packs in the future. I've not gone to the LCS to get some premium packs or hobby packs. So that is the focus for the future, but we're going to leave it there. You let me know what you thought about this particular episode. Like, comment, and subscribe for all that good stuff. And as always, I'll be back with more content in the near future. Till then, bye for now.